Now for question number eight <clears throat> from the May June 2020 International GCSE um, 0580 Paper 2 1. Um, paper 2 Variant 1, the extended syllabus. Here it says, without using a calculator in bold type. Okay, stressing that you have to show your steps and don't just write the answer down. Otherwise, you'll get no marks, basically. Work out 2 and a third minus 7 over 8 times 6 over 25. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. <clears throat> now, the first thing is we have order of operations. We have a subtraction and a multiplication. Now, if there was no brackets here, then we would have to multiply first. Multiplication takes precedence. We'd have to do 7 over 8 times 6 over 25, and then um, we would have to then subtract the answer from 2 and 1 third. Okay, that's the first thing. All right. However, here we have brackets. So the brackets take precedence. So you have, we can say, bid mass. Okay, so you have certain order of operations. So brackets takes precedence over the rest of them. So you must do what's inside the bracket first. So you must do the subtraction inside this bracket first, and then the answer be multiplied by 6 over 25. So first we have to subtract these two fractions. In order to subtract them, okay, um, the most sensible thing to do really would be, I prefer to do it this way, to make them into improper fractions first if they are any mixed numbers. So this is going to become 2 and 1 third. You multiply the denominator by the whole number. That gives you 6 plus 1, which is 7. That's 7 over 3. 2 and 1 third is like 7 thirds. It's like two, <coughs> 2 holes, which would be 6 over 3 plus 1 over 3. That's 7 over 3. And then you've got minus 7 over 8. And that will have to be multiplied by 6 over 25 in the end. So first we have to subtract these. Now to subtract or add fractions, <coughs> we must make the denominators the same. So these two denominators must be made the same. Now you've got to think of the LCM, which is always, always simpler to find the LCM if you can, of 3 and 8. Well, that happens to be what you get when you multiply them. Because if you think about 8, then 16, and 24, well, 24 is the number that both of them go into, the smallest number, the lowest common multiple. So to make 3 into to tw to 24, 3 times 8 is 24, so we multiply the numerator by 8, so 7 times 8 is 56, that's going to become 56 over 24, and to make 8 into 24 you have to multiply by 3, therefore you multiply the numerator also by 3, that gives you 7 times 3 which is 21, and that will going to be multiplied by 6 over 25 in the end. So now, once we have the denominators the same, we can put them under one single denominator, which is 24, and we can subtract those two numbers. We don't need the bracket now. We'll be finished with that. So 56 minus 21, okay, that's going to give you a 5 and a 3, 35. 35 plus 21 is 56. That's correct. So you have 35 over 24 multiplied by 6 over 25. Okay, now we got, we got to multiply these two fractions together. Now, what you don't need to do when you're multiplying or dividing is to make the denominators the same. We don't make the denominators the same. You could do if you wanted to, but it's just going to make, make a lot of extra hassle for you. What we can do is we can multiply the numerators together and we can multiply the denominators together. However, those numbers are going to be quite big. So if you can simplify the numerators with the denominators before you multiply, that makes life easier. So anything on any of the numerators can have a, if it has a common factor with anything in any of the denominators, you can <coughs> simplify. So I can see, for example, 35 and 25, both of them have a common factor of 5. So if I divide uh, this by 5, I'm going to get 7. 35 divided by 5 is 7. So I can cancel out the 5 from this. And here, this is going to be like 5 times 5. So one of the 5s cancels out, and you're left with 5 over here. This would be 7 times 5, 5 times 5, the 5 cancels out. And here you've got like 6 times 1 and 6 times 4. Okay, so the 6 cancels out here and the 6 cancel out there. So you end up with 1 here and a 4 there. So you're now left with 7 times 1 on the numerator and 4 times 5 on the denominator. That makes it much easier than <coughs> multiplying the numbers first and then simplifying that huge number in the end. This makes life easier and that's now in its simplest form. So the answer here is 7 over 20. Okay, that's the answer for this question. 7 over 20, and we're done. All right? So you can, at the end, when you've finished in an exam, you can go 
to your calculator and check in case you've made a silly mistake. So you can write two. And now to make a fixed number here, shift, and then you've got one third, one over three, minus, and then you've got seven over eight. Okay, this is what you should do in the exam in case you're not sure. You want to make sure times, you've got six over 25, And it gives you 7 over 20, 7 over 20. So you can be sure that you've done it correctly and you haven't made a silly mistake. But if you just wrote this answer down by using your calculator from the beginning, you would, you would lose all four marks from the question. Okay, so it's very important that you just, uh, you know, you don't do that. All right, you must show your steps. They want to see that you have made the denominators the same. And they want to see that you've multiplied these together by simplifying the numbers and then, you know, if you wanted to multiply them first, you could do, but then that will make life more difficult. Make life easy for yourself, that's always better. So there's the answer to this question number eight. Okay, this is especially for those who have calculatoritis, a very common disease now that many students have where they cannot cope without the calculators. You have to know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide fractions without a calculator. Okay, very important, otherwise you'll lose these marks. So here we have the playlist for questions on, um, from this paper, it will be somewhere in this area here, and underneath it you'll get the playlist for questions to do with basic arithmetic, which is, this will be under, and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.